Should we be providing wind in our reptiles enclosures? My answer is yes, but first let's talk about it. Hi, I'm Mariah Healy and a professional reptile husbandry specialist, as well as the author of reptiles.com. First, adding wind decreases the risk of humidity spikes. Have you ever thought about how bearded dragon communities claim that they can't tolerate periods of high humidity? or that an overturned water dish will make a rosy boa sick, yet somehow these animals survive rainy days and hanging out in humid burrows in the wild? You see, the difference here is fresh air. Your hair dries faster outside on a breezy day than if you're sitting around indoors. Similarly, a breeze in a reptile's enclosure helps the animal weather spikes in humidity without harm. Adding wind also discourages mold growth. If condensation is frequently seen on your enclosure doors, that's actually a sign of poor ventilation and not a good thing. This lingering moisture encourages the growth of mold and bacteria, which absolutely love a consistently moist environment. Mold is particularly well known for creating a toxic indoor environment. The CDC notes that while some people are more sensitive to mold than others, mold is still known to irritate mucous membranes, cause difficulty breathing, and even promote chronic headaches. Early exposure to mold in children has been linked to increased likelihood of asthma, which is a chronic respiratory disorder. Adding wind also reduces bacteria concentration. A 2019 study on tuberculosis, a bacterial infection, found that increasing air turn turnover in a space via improved ventilation significantly reduces transmission rates. The effect is the same for reptiles and the potentially pathogenic bacteria in their environment. By reducing the amount of bacteria present in an enclosure, you reduce their likelihood of contracting bacterial illnesses like respiratory infections. It also increases their rate of recovery from illness by preventing reinfection. Of course, a hygienic enclosure also plays an important role here, but we should beware of relying on sterile conditions to keep our pets healthy. If an animal, including humans, must be kept in a completely sanitized environment to maintain good health, then is it actually healthy? Given that only the most sick humans are required to live in hospital grade bubbles long term, my conclusion is no. Adding wind also reduces the concentration of VOCs. Plastic and other artificial materials are notorious for slowly leaking VOCs, which are volatile organic compounds into their surrounding environment. Consider your reptiles enclosure. Are you using artificial decor items, particularly anything made from plastic? Although some plastics are substantially more heat and UV resistant than others and therefore emit little to no VOCs, others are ready sources of indoor air pollution. And I'm looking at you, craft store plastic plants. Of course, your home likely has plenty of its own VOCs from paint, carpet, furniture, cleaning supplies, cosmetics, etc., according to the New York Department of Health. So increasing ventilation alone might not actually resolve this problem completely. But combining increased enclosure ventilation with a good air purifier designed to tackle VOCs, however, is likely to be beneficial to reptiles and humans. Adding wind is also going to reduce your carbon dioxide concentration. Humans and reptiles have plenty of differences, but we also have plenty of similarities. For example, the fact that we both require a certain concentration of oxygen to survive and function well. And we're essentially poisoned by high levels of carbon dioxide in our environment. Exposure to too much carbon dioxide causes drowsiness, poor concentration, and generally impaired cognitive function, according to Allen et al. 2016 and Strom Teschen et al. 2015. Adding live plants to a reptile enclosure can help with this problem as plants inhale carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen. Adding wind also lowers ambient temperatures. If you're struggling with uncomfortably high temperatures on your enclosure's cool side, that means that the hot air generated by your reptile's heat lamps is having trouble escaping. While some species of reptiles do enjoy a consistently warm environment, providing a wide temperature gradient is important to allowing them to regulate their body temperature, utilizing areas of warm and cool as their body demands. Adding wind also helps you grow stronger plants. According to Michigan State University, when plants get pushed around by wind, they release a hormone, which in encourages the plant to reinforce itself, making it stronger than those raised in a still air environment. Considering that a common complaint about live plants in reptile terrariums is that they just get flattened by the animal inhabitant. Now, of course, side note, if the animal is too large for its plants, that may be a sign that your enclosure needs to be taller or even topless, but that's a topic for a different day. The point is your plants can use all the strengthening they can get. 
Of course, it is worth acknowledging that being harassed by a reptile will also help strengthen the plant, but too much movement will only harm the plant, not make it stronger. Kind of like overdoing it at the gym only succeeds in making you horrifically sore, not swole. Have I made my point yet? The TLDR is, as long as you're still meeting your reptile's species-specific needs for average humidity, active air circulation in a reptile enclosure is likely to improve your pet's well-being. For more professional reptile care advice, make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a heart for the algorithm.